Hey, what's up guys? It's Phil, and today we're talking about the Ortur Laser Master 2 Pro. It's very similar to the Ortur that I reviewed in a previous video, but a bit more. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's talk about the Laser Master 2 Pro. Uh, so it's very similar to the original Laser Master 2. Uh, it only comes in a 20 watt version, whereas the original Laser Masters came in uh, three different sizes, 20, 15, and eight, maybe? I may be wrong with that. I had the 20 watt, so that's uh, very similar to this one. A few things that they've improved on this is it has a brand new 32-bit motherboard that will allow it to go a lot faster. The previous one would only go 3,000 millimeters per minute uh, at the maximum. This one will do 10,000. So you can get stuff done a lot faster on this. Uh, the work area is 400 by 400, which is slightly smaller, but uh, only about 30 millimeters, I believe. As far as the assembly, it can be done in between like an hour, an hour and a half, uh, maybe less if you, you know, already know, you know, if you're used to assembling 3D printers and such. But uh, yeah, it's it's not too bad. Uh, the instructions that come with it, let me see if I have them. I don't have the instructions handy that came uh, in the box. Uh, they were not that great, but there's a PDF manual that you can download and yeah, I actually ended up going to YouTube and watching some tutorials that other people have done. Uh, and they also do have a YouTube video of their own that's pretty good, but it goes very fast. Very, really quick cuts, and they barely mention how to do certain things. Um, so, to Orter, I recommend making a longer video that's not so, you know, doesn't have so much quick cuts. Uh, another thing is the laser itself, first of all, it has this nice shroud over it, which get, offers a little bit of protection uh, just in case somebody uh, happens to walk in into the room where it's running. Um, I still recommend using professional safety glasses, that, and some free ones do come in the package. Uh, although, of course, you can buy even better ones uh, elsewhere. Um, but anyway, the laser itself is 20 watt, but it has a much finer uh, focal range. It's like four times smaller dot that actually hits the surface. So it gets much better detail, and all that 20 watts get focused into a much smaller area, so you can actually cut deeper. I believe you could do uh, like three millimeter plywood in the previous model. In this one, you can do uh, up to five millimeters and I don't know, maybe more. Uh, if you had an air assist, that would definitely help. Uh, another thing they added that's kind of handy is all of the rails have measurements on them. Uh, the thing is that's weird about that is that they're, uh, the one they sent me is in inches. Uh, and I think that depends on where you are, because I've seen some others that are in centimeters and millimeters, uh, which I find would be a lot more useful, uh, since that's how I work in here. And it's funny, in normal life, I mostly use inches, but when I'm working with 3D printers and stuff like this, I use millimeters. Um, so it would be nice if uh, these rails are symmetrical. So it would be nice if the... Uh, millimeters was printed on the other side and you could just flip it over and you, know, you decide which you want to use. Hey, some other things they added are new safety features. Uh, the earlier one had a couple of features where, okay, so suppose uh, you bump the table and the machine gets knocked somehow, then it would automatically stop. If it gets uh, disconnected from the computer, it'll just stop. And if it's somehow the laser is going back and forth and it gets stuck in one spot, so it's just constantly hitting the same spot, it'll stop. That's what the old one had. So this one has all of this. 
It also included a fire alarm. Uh, on the back of this box here, there's a little sensor that's uh, an infrared sensor. So the assumption is that if it sees infrared light, that means there's a fire and it starts loudly beeping and this little light starts flashing and it'll stop. Uh, uh, the other thing is there's an emergency stop button here. So you can, if there's an emergency, you can quickly hit that. Uh, it'll stop everything. Uh, the button locks down until you're ready to get it you know, going again. And then you just twist it and it pops back up. So the price is $4.99.99 on Amazon and $4.49.99 on MadeTheBest.com. Uh, Made the Best are the ones who kindly sent this to me to review. Um, so big thanks to them. Uh, and if you were one of the first people watching this video, they also gave me a coupon code to use, which I will put in the description below. Let's see, I think I covered all my details about the machine itself. Uh, it does use either the uh, free and open source laser GRBL, or as I like to call it, laser gerbil. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, it uses that, and I, I personally don't care for that, some people do. Uh, but it also will work with Lightburn, which I highly recommend. I think it's a lot better. A Lightburn is uh, $40 for this machine, uh, but it does have a 30-day trial, so you can get to know it and get to use it for a while. And that, it's just really much better. So I'm still dialing in my settings for you know getting just everything perfect for using it with wood or uh, leather or whatever. But uh, I do have a few things, so here I have this, uh, there's some wood engraving of an old barn. Hey. Uh, that was using uh, 1900 millimeters per second, or per minute at 30% power. And here we've got one of uh, Ray from Star Wars. I think that came out pretty good. I still need to adjust the settings from that. And I have one other fun idea. Let's step outside for that one. Hey, so here's my new car that I just got and I'm not trying to actually show off my car. <laughs> the whole reason for this is actually this guy down here. The dealership had put their own logo on there and I really didn't want to advertise for them. So I just flipped it around, but I think that's kind of ugly. So I got some of these on Amazon. It's a blank black plate, and it looks like you can laser engrave them. So let's see what we can do with that. Okay, so <laughs> you saw what I was talking about with the uh, license plate, and so this is my burn from that. And I think that came out amazing. It was the first try. I'm really excited to do more of these. And I will do one more at the end of the video. And you can take a look at the actual process. There, I'll put this right up there because I'm so proud of it. There we go. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to be working with this a lot more. I think this one will definitely be my go-to compared to the previous one. And I'm hopefully I'm going to have a lot more to show in upcoming videos. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I will try to answer them the best I can. And if you liked the video, please leave it a like and you know a thumbs up, which is a like. And then uh, su subscribe. That's it, and we'll see you next time, and stay tuned. We're going to show some more laser engraving of another uh, license plate here. Okay, before we get started on the license plate, I thought I'd share a few engravings that I've done uh, in the past. Uh, just, uh, here's the, my Supergirl. Uh, this is an example of what you could do. These were done on the previous Laser Master, but that is a drawing that I did. And... Uh, yeah, so these ones uh, you could very well do on this one just as well. So it's just an example of what could be done. I'll set her down. And there's my Captain America on canvas. Just a regular canvas 
from the dollar store uh, spray painted with blue and then with black on top and the black is lasered off and here's a few tiles that is permanently in there it's not painted there's a few more this is Todaiji temple in Japan that's from a photo I took and here are a few friends in Japan another photo I took or somebody took I don't remember if I did or someone else but yeah that's again permanently in there you can't scrape that off and finally this one was done with a different method got a Faye Valentine from Cowboy Bebop but uh, this one was actually spray painted with black on there and then the black was lasered off so this one does have paint that could come off so it has been coated with polycrylic to make sure it's you know, protected okay so let's get started with the license plate and there's one thing I know you guys are gonna like we got a plastic coating on this So here we go doesn't come off as cleanly where the sticker is but oh there it is that's very nice okay and then I've got it marked off right here where it goes marked it off with some tape Okay, and then we're ready to start engraving. 